do not pass go. They want a monopoly over your mind, your soul, and your body. And you want to know how you go from slinging rock to breaking rocks. The devil's in the details are key. Society will convince you to sell vows so they can sentence you to a cell and sell your free services like vows. You really think them judges ain't got contracts for kickbacks to manifest in all those one-size-fit-all cookie-cutter trials? Nah, for them, a slave court is like Riker's Isle is just a stash and they get to re-up immediately after they tee up with their connect at the country club. So when you're standing in front of that judge, you looking like money, blood. And when you find yourself standing in front of a black robe to stand to make money off your black ass, it's probably too late to ask whether you ever really should have believed that a trap house could be the way out. See, the funny thing about traps is eventually everybody get to play the mouse. Serve fiends, serve time. Become a purveyor of free goods and services. Go from being your own man to one of the private prison industrial complexes, human purchases, money worshippers, tend to end their story as inventory. Them cell block tears be like shells and them jumpsuits and barcoded bracelets, that'll be your packaging. And this ain't the first time they stacked Africans, but perhaps one of the first times that some of us was half volunteering. Like we prefer the company of a cellmate to that of our soulmate and our children. Pardon self. I love you, bruh. You're going to do what you're going to do. We're proud to. I get to speak my pieces. Each one teach one in this belly of the beast. And that crime bill should have been subtitled incarcerate as many black men as possible and make it damn near impossible for them to get released. These days, they'll get you if you waver. They'll enslave you while you're on the fence. And the next thing you'll hear is, excuse me, Your Honor. I represent the defense. And I believe this is part of the trial. We just automatically ask for a plea bargain. I'm a public defender, so it makes my job easier if I just convince him that even though there's no real charges against him, this, this jury will be filled with senior citizens, housing crisis victims who would love to take it out on the black man but can't lynch him. So the next best thing is to vindictively convict him. Look, listen, bruh. Keep your head up. Learn the skill. We all fed up. But what's real is there ain't no easy way. You either stay out here and grind with the rest of us or you chase that trap and be a slave.